Um, for those who don't know me, can I introduce myself? I'm Brian Ewing and I'm fortunate to be the chair of Scottish Gymnastics and I am sure you will join me in applauding the fantastic performances of our team over the last few days. They should be rightly very proud of My name's Ian, uh, Ian Kennedy and I'm here to support initially Cara Kennedy because she's my daughter. I'm here to support every gymnast in the Scottish team. It's been wonderful, it's been a great atmosphere, it's been really good to watch all the athletes after all their hard work and um, the support has also been great, we've had a great time so far. Well, uh, just, I'm so proud, as I said, we've been involved with Cara in gymnastics for 18 years. Uh, to do as well as she's done on a third occasion here really has topped a lot, it's fabulous. I'd, I'd just like to thank Scottish Gymnastics because as you can imagine the journey from a wee girl starting gymna gymnastics 18 years ago to where we are today has had its ups and downs but it's been terrific to get support for Scottish Gymnastics along the way. My name is Wendy Purdy, I'm Shannon Archer's mum. Really proud of Shannon and what she's achieved. The support from Scottish Gymnastics has been great, you know, it really got them together as a team, um, so it got them into that mindset of what the Games was all about right from the word go. Um, it's been a kind of up and down, obviously, for the girls' team with it being so late and a full selection, um, but the support that Scottish Gymnastics gave the girls when they were all selected and getting them together to really work as a team has been fantastic. Um, I have been hosted by the Carter family, um, so I came down, they've looked after me very well and we've had a look around the city, absolutely amazing, it's lovely walking around and just seeing people from different sports, everybody with their lanyards on, um, everybody being friendly, all the volunteers, absolutely fantastic, I've loved it. Um, I mean for us Birmingham is now our home city, having moved from Nottingham, but it just, it's always a friendly place to be at the best of times, but during the games, it's, it's just been magical. Frank has uh, done brilliantly. Um, he came here to enjoy himself. This is his third Games. The Commonwealth Games has been his favourite competition ever. And he just thought, um, do you know what, I'd like to have one more shot at it. And here he is. And to watch him having come back from retirement to get right up to where he is now, um, that is such an achievement. Um, well, Hamish, probably as you know, is just back from a full um, NCAA season. Uh, he came back, unfortunately, it was quite early, had tonsillitis, so to see how far he's come in such a short space of time and to get back on the, the competition floor and perform the way he did on Friday it was just amazing. Well this is Hamish's second second games we went to we all went to the Gold Coast together. I mean that he had just a really memorable time out there. It was his highest I think his highest level competition to date then. So to come back and get a shot at a second games in Birmingham for him is just it's fabulous. And for me, um, being the Scot in the family, to see him in a kilt for se the second time and know that in my hometown of Hoyk that everybody's cheering him on as well, it, it just makes it really special. We felt, as parents, we felt part of the part of the whole the whole family. And I was a bit concerned when Hamish went to the States for four years, but um, Jamie Bowie's been fantastic. He's kept in touch with Hamish regularly. Um, you know, they've, they've taken into account the competitions he was doing over there and put those towards qualifying. The level of understanding that they've had for what he's doing and the support that they've given him on his journey in the States and then welcomed him back home, it's, it's been fantastic. I, I don't think we could have done it without them.